I am a screen printer, professional artist. But I've been doing this for about five years, so. It was just a hobby. And then it just kind of morphed into something bigger. Chris Bovey's art has a genuine flair for the past. I think of myself more of a, as a historian, you know, and trying to capture history. Bovey, the former art director at Spokane's Inlander Weekly newspaper, used his knowledge of screen printing and art by creating a business that linked his interest in local visual history with his talents as an artist. His business specializes in capturing a style of advertising from the past that frequently spurs emotions from memories. After working at the Inlander and creating covers, I saw that there was a niche, there was a missing piece of Spokane in the sense that people really, really took a lot of pride and especially like um, local pride, like neighborhood pride. You know, it's like if I live in the Garland area, I love the Garland and I wanna put up Garland on my walls and keep it forever. There was a market there and I saw like, hey, people really love Spokane. They really love this town and they wanna show it. They wanna wear it. They wanna put it up on their walls. They wanna pass it down to their kids. So that's kind of where it started. Being able to do this full time, being able to do what you love, it doesn't feel like work, you know, it feels like just a hobby that <laughs> pays the bills. The process of creating handmade prints starts with an analog sketch. Chris then transfers his work to a computer in the digital realm, where he refines his drawing and adds colors. He then takes his work and transfers it back to analog to finish the process. A lot of people think that you press print on a computer and it comes out like that and you know that's understandable it's like that's the way our world works you know it's like most everything is digital now but the colors they're not processed they're all hand mixed the screen printing process how it works is you take a blank screen you put this uh, green goop on it called photo emulsion and then you take uh, a transparency off of the computer one transparency for every single color that you're gonna do. So if you expose it to light for 10 minutes and everywhere that's black will just wash out and it becomes a stencil at that point. After that, you just push ink through with a squeegee and then you have to let it dry. So it's a really long process. Something like a five color print might take you all week to make uh, beginning to end. What I noticed, a lot of these places are dying or gone. And if you can I don't know, for lack of a better word, immortalize it. If you can keep it, if you can preserve it, um, it, it still stays around, it still stays relevant. Like East Sprague Drive-In, I did that sign, and that's long gone, but it almost lives on, you know, on your walls and in your memories. Obviously, I gravitate towards like 50s, 60s, diner type, dive bar style, things like that. Just kind of average Joe type of design. Back in the 50s and 60s, they really had mascots. You'll see a lot of my pieces have personality and characters in them. Donut parade, zips, uh, Washington water power. All these great mascots that don't get used anymore. It's almost giving them a second chance and a new life. A challenge for any artist is to find a way to get your art noticed. So from the beginning of Chris Bovey's art and printmaking endeavor, Atticus in downtown Spokane has helped with that effort and has been a vintage print constant. And Andy at Atticus has been um, like my biggest supporter since day one. He said, I'll buy anything you ever bring me. And he's been um, true to his word. And that relationship started like five years ago. Loading up his converted panel truck and readying it for a planned trip to a local show, Chris, along with his two young sons and his wife Liz, helped with the business of marketing his work and using the opportunity to connect. You know, she is essential. She's amazing and 100% supportive. Or if I want to do a show, she's like, yep, on board. And it becomes an entire family affair at that point. And uh, my wife will help me organize the truck. She'll help me number prints. Um, she'll stock all the shelves and we'll all be there at the show for it. Sometimes it's a long day, but we're all there as a family and we're all working together. So I couldn't do it without them. It's all of us together. 
And I keep telling myself, like, there's going to be a day where these ideas run out and these pro this project comes to an end. And then all of a sudden, people come up to me and they'll be like, hey, you need to do this place, this place, this place. And, uh, and I'm just taking it one day at a time, one friend at a time.